No, we we practiced really hard this week, and uh, you know we uh, were ready to play, and uh, you know we had a lot of criticism, and we had a chip on our shoulder, and I figured we were going to play good in the first half. Uh, we played good in the first half, in the second half we played everybody we had. You know we played uh, I think four quarterbacks and. And, uh, you know, we had about 95 guys on the sideline. We probably played 85 of them. So, uh, the sec and then, you know, we could have had one more touchdown, and I took a knee at the end. Uh, you know, I, I don't believe in, you know, I, I heard some boos and that, but I, I don't believe in uh, hitting somebody while they're down. And uh, their coach thanked me for my sportsmanship, but uh, I just don't believe in that. You know, we could have we could have had another one look would look better and all that, but you know, I'm sure I'll get criticized for that too, but I'm I'm uh, that's that's the way I do things. Oh, well, it's really good. I mean that's what we really wanted to do is uh you know, get the guys in there and get them experience because we we have a young football team. I mean, a lot of our starters are obviously young and uh uh, you know, I think we had 500 yards at halftime or something like that, and they had 51. And then the second half, you know, we only gained like 100 yards, uh, and, and they gained, you know, they gained 150, you know, most of their offense. But it's more important to get those guys experience because they're, they're going to end up playing for us sometime. They're good players. They just, you know, they have to get in there and, and get the feel of things. Was this one of the best days this year at um, UA? It seemed like he was dropping balls in the way he was at. Yeah, I, you know, I, he had uh, seven touchdowns, and, and uh, you know, he had six last year, and and that tied Rolo's record, and he took him out of the game, so I made sure that Rolo played him. You know, so he could throw one more for seven. He wanted to pull him again, but I wouldn't let him. And uh, so he broke Rolo's record. And uh, now I find out that one more, and he would have tied the national record. So, uh, you know, I, I think his game's ahead of him. I, I think he, you know, he threw some great balls, and uh, some receivers made some great catches. Uh, and it shows you the depth of our receivers. Uh, we, we've, uh, because our starters were hurt at the first part of the year, that hurt us a little bit, but you can see now the depth that we have, uh, you know, some guys are starting to really show up. And uh, so it's really made us deep at the receiver position. Was there any thought of what keeps Brian in just to start the third quarter just to make sure there wasn't any kind of a letdown? No, not really. You know, I mean, we, we, uh, we believe in uh, David Grace. And actually, we wanted to see uh, David uh, in action and, and Shane. Uh, those are two good quarterbacks also. So, uh, I, you know, I mean, Mo had a great day, but, uh, you know, David did, some, David did some good things. And we wanted to take a look at Shane. And, and we got uh, uh, came and Shutter in there also. So, so it, you know, it's always good to be able to take a look at those guys, and and we have the, you, you don't always get an opportunity to do that, and we felt we did today. And you know, I'm I'm not in the scoring 100 points, whether we could have or not, but uh, I I would rather build a football team, and that's that's what we're trying to do. Oh, no. No, those, we have two good running backs. Really, three. We really have four. You guys haven't even you haven't seen uh, Will Gregory yet. But uh, uh, we all, you know we dress down three and and uh, no, those two guys that will alternate. Oh, there was a win as far as getting back on track after the No, it, it was really important because. 
uh, you know, I don't think anybody likes to just be mauled by the public. And, and those guys are 18 to 20 year old kids. And there were some pretty bad things about it, said about them. And I think they had a real chip on their shoulder. Uh, I'm, I'm a grown man, so I, I can handle it. And I've coached a long time, but it still pecks me off. And, uh, you know, I think I do a lot, a little, a lot better job when I'm pecked off. And the players had a chip on their shoulder. And, uh, uh, you know, I think they're going to next week also. And it's going to be a tough ball game next week. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's no fun going what we've uh, quite, you know, we beat Colorado, we ran out of time in Washington. I, I don't, you know, people ask about the last two losses. The Washington game, other than the first quarter, we played pretty well. I mean, it was a one touchdown game and, and we ran out of time. We screwed up the Las Vegas game. I, I really, that's over to me. Now, to a lot of people, it's not going to be over. And, you know, let, let them, uh, you know, that's their problem. When you take a chip on that shoulder, that means you guys got off the pass card on the defense, forced the turnover, and you had four in the right over. That's the idea of just jump on these guys right, right now and go that way? Oh, yeah. No, we we went out to guys saying kick some butt. And, uh, you know, we, like I said, we've had we've had uh, great practices, and these these guys are young men. I mean, they, like I said, they were they were ready to guys and go out and get after some people. How important was it to keep the foot on the throat and kind of keep the problem going in the second quarter? Well, you know, let me say this. I, I'm not, uh, I mean, we could have we made it a lot worse. And we, we took some players out. We put some, you know, in the second half we played some guys. And uh, we could have scored there at the end and we went down on a knee. Uh, that, that's not important to me. What's important is our guys did what they were supposed to do. And, and then, you know, you know, show them a little, be, be humble about the whole thing. You know, and, uh, you know, I don't know if people like that or not, but that's what I believe and that's what I'm going to do, and that's the way it is. Yeah, there is. We're, we're playing a lot of beat up guys, and uh, I really admire uh, how they're playing because the one position that we have really, really uh, had an injury problem with is our offensive line of all times, you know, because we're really young and inexperienced as the offensive line, but I, I thought they did a real good job because they played a, you know, they played a five-man front against us and then they drop a guy off, but they put people in in a situation where they had to block one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they used what we call a bear front. So there's five guys down and then they'll drop one guy out or, or bring him. And uh, it puts everybody in a one-on-one -on -one situation, so you know they're they're going to get manned up. They do have a four too, right? We put four on the line and drop back to three. Well, no, what they did is is they actually just went with three there towards the end. That's when we started running running the ball against them. Yeah, but they may have done what you said. I mean, they may have uh, they could. I think what they were doing is bringing a linebacker up with three linemen, but it, it looks the same. Anything else? You know, the, the, the talent level between the two teams is so different. Is it still as confident still as the team? Sir, next question. That was a good football team we played. You know, Cal Davis is a good football team. They beat Stanford three years ago. You know, I'd like to give our team credit for playing a good ball game than not get another team. What do you think about your receivers that, you know, usually don't play, they've got a lot of playing time today. Do you see or see many of them being inserted in more based on their performance today, like Scott Hardy and Tom yeah, you know, that, Scott's just starting to learn, you know, the, and he did some really good things, and you can see what a, 
you know, matter of fact, Australia ESPN sound doing a story on him. And uh, he, he had a good ball game. He, he uh, shoot, he catches everything, and, and uh, he's learning offense, so he's really coming along. I'm really excited about him. you think he will be more in the rotation? I think so. I think so. And, and then you saw Corey. He's a little quick guy. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, Justin Clapp starting to pick it up, you know. Take one more question. Played a, a lot of really tough tackles. Did you have the future against? I mean, yeah, we played no huddle. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to quicken the pace and. Uh, we'll see more of that. Yeah, yeah, you will, especially at home. You know, especially at home. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.